Well, that was a long wait. You are relying on the restaurant to be accurate about how long the order's going to take. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It is raining again. So much rain. So I've got my first order for the day. It is an Uber Connect order, so picking up a package. Uh, this is actually a first for me, uh, picking up a curbside package for a customer, so let's see how that goes. Okay, I am just near the pickup point and the note says meet at curbside, so hopefully the customer is ready with the package. Hello, Roger. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. Okay. So we're just picking up the package, yeah? Yep. No worries. Do that. Do that one. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. No. Does that need to be in a bag or anything? I can just put that on the seat. That's okay. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. I've got a delivery bag. A number. Sorry. The tool number. What is? Uh, no, I've got that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is the right one. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll call him and, uh, you can let him know. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. That was easy. As soon as I uh, accepted the package for delivery, it gave me the customer's, the recipient's address and details. Confirmed that with the customer who gave me the package. And he said, yes, that's all good to go. So let's go. Okay, just need to go and find this unit to let the customer know that I have arrived. Back in a moment. Okay, customer came out uh, the opposite way that I went in, so we missed each other, but we got there in the end. And we've got our next delivery, uh, which is a double pickup, and now I'm grabbing that one. Today, I, I don't really mind where I pick up from today. Uh, I've got the day off today, so uh, just doing whatever I feel like doing on Uber, and, and I don't need to stay close to home because I don't need to get back to work. So we'll just take today as it comes. See what it brings us. Hopefully uh, lots of profitable orders. Hey mate, speaking of those two. Right, that's one. Yep, no worries. Sure. Thank you, mate. Okay, that was an easy pickup. They were ready, that's good. Now we're gonna go and drop them off. Okay, so this first drop off is to a business. I've been here before, so I know where I'm going and the customer has left a note saying they will meet me in the car park. So that's cool. Uh, if they're not there, I'll just give them a call or send a, a quick message to let them know that I've arrived and it should be an easy drop off. Got an order for Gemma? Yeah. So I've got two here. Let me just make sure I've got the right one. Eight, two, four, three, five. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, have a good day. All right, how's that for easy? Didn't even have to get out of the car. Let's go 
can drop the second one off. No worries, have a good day. So it's definitely a little bit quiet today. Um, school holidays. School holidays is always a bit up and down. Uh, you know, when you normally have Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, you know, weekends being busy, Sometimes the weekdays can be busy because people's normal schedule is sort of all thrown out because of school holidays. So um, during these two weeks of school holidays, you just don't know what to expect. So, you know, you just log on when you can log on and um, do what you can do. I thought I was going to pick up something near Glenelg. Oh, here we go. I've never heard of this restaurant, but that's okay. We'll grab that order. So it looks like it's not far away. So this is a new one for me, I've never picked up here before. Let's go. Just picked up another order, another offer, just around the corner, so I've accepted that one. Grab these two and be on our way. Hi, just picking up uh, AJ. Thank you. Well, that was a long wait. I don't really like to wait. Uh, I prefer to keep moving and just cancel the order. But you are relying on the restaurant to be accurate about how long the order is going to take. They told me it was going to be three minutes. It was more like 13 minutes. Once you've stood there waiting for a while, you can't really cancel because you've lost out on your ability to pick up another order and you won't get paid if you cancel it. So then you sort of got to, you're stuck waiting. So it's unfortunate when the restaurant is not accurate about quoting you how long it's going to be. If they said it was going to be 13 minutes, no problem. I would have just said, that's fine, I'll send another driver and everyone's happy. But because they say three minutes, well, you're gonna wait for three minutes, aren't you? It is what it is. Hopefully I get paid extra for it. So we'll find out shortly. Okay, that is the last one dropped off. So I've been paid uh, a little bit extra for the wait time, uh, probably an extra $5 or so. Uh, I need to go back and look at what the initial offer was. I think the initial offers for those two were, was about 8 or $9 and I've been paid about $14. So uh, that's fine, I've been paid for the wait. It's still been a little bit of a quiet lunch time. So less than $30 an hour. I'll put the earnings just here. One thing that I did want to do is uh, answer a couple of questions that I've had 
I just went back into the comments on my videos to have a look at some of the questions that have been asked to see whether some of those questions should be answered for the benefit of everybody. So I'm just going to head home and we'll have a look at those questions. Okay, I just wanted to uh, run through some questions that I've received on the various videos that I've uploaded. Uh, these questions could be relevant for people who are watching uh, who, might, who may not have seen the comments. So I just wanted to answer some of those questions, get it here on record on the video. And uh, moving forward, if you do have questions, pop them in the comments. I'll try and answer them, but I will try and answer them on the videos as well. Okay, so here is a question from just me. Uh, the question is, what is the best time period and are some days just not worth the effort? So for example, if you did eight hours a day or afternoon, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., would it be worth it? I've outlined, sorry, I've outlived my resume and I'm seriously looking at options. This is a great question. My answer is always the same. Lunchtime and dinner time are the best times to work. You can absolutely work eight hours a day or you know more than that if you want to, but you're not I don't think you're going to get the return that you can get at dinner time and lunch uh, dinner time and lunch time. When you log into the app, you will see uh, an earnings forecast for the area that you're currently in. So in this example that I'm showing you, uh, Glen Osmond, which is the next area over from where I currently am, looks like it's busy all evening. Um, you can see that it's busy from 1800 through to sort of two o'clock in the morning. It's also busy at lunchtime from 12 o'clock till three o'clock. So my advice to anybody who's on the app is to use that information that Uber's providing you to work out when and where you're going to drive. If you are not in an area that's busy, then it may be worthwhile going to a different location to drive. Okay, I had a couple of comments on waiting. Um, waiting in restaurants or waiting for orders. So first one, comment from KP, my problem with me is waiting in the restaurant for my order for 15 minutes. I cancel now when the order is taking too long. And another one from Robin A, some great points. Uh, she was looking at another video. Um, I agree that waiting in restaurants is the biggest hurdle and is not something we can control as drivers. Waiting, it kills your efficiency. It is a little bit in your control though. So you have the ability to cancel the order and go and pick up something else. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. Number one, the restaurant tells you when you walk in, it's going to be a long wait. Then you can immediately make a decision about whether you want to wait or whether you want to try and pick up another order. My standard response, I will send another driver if that's okay. I just ask them the question, is that okay? they always say yes, they're not going to say you have to wait here. So that's always my response. If it's going to be a long wait, 10, 15 minutes, um, I'll send another driver, is that okay? And then I'll move on to the next order. If they tell you it's going to be three minutes and it ends up being 15 minutes, there's not much you can do about that because once you've waited five, 10 minutes, there's no point cancelling because you've already lost that time. So you need to wait and hope that you get paid extra for the wait time. If the restaurant tells you that the order's not ready but they don't give you any time, you need to ask the restaurant how long the order is going to take. The best way to do that, I find, is to ask the question, how long will the order be because I've got another delivery to do? Now, you might have another delivery in the car. You might not. But if you, if you say to the person in the restaurant, I've got another delivery to do, they understand, oh, this is urgent because someone's waiting for their food. They give you a realistic time frame, And at that point, you can decide whether you need to wait or pick up another order. Or if you do actually have an order in the car, uh, you, know, you can go and deliver that order and then 
continue on your way. This is a comment from Will Hun. Uh, Hi mate, big fan of the videos. Uh, just started last month myself. Wondering, do you get any quests, even if it's from time to time? I'm yet to receive any, so I was just curious if you received any down in SA. Good question. I have not been receiving any quests. We had a little discussion um, on one of my recent videos in the comment section. Uh, some of the local Adelaide drivers, looks like they were local Adelaide drivers, have commented that they're not getting surge pricing. And I think there was probably some comments that people aren't getting quests either. It has been quiet in general. I do expect it to pick up towards the end of the year. So hopefully we'll see some quest promotions. Uh, but it looks like Uber's definitely made a change to the way they uh, are running their pay structure for the delivery business. What I have noticed is in the last two weeks or two or three weeks in Adelaide, the heat map around the areas that I deliver around the city and close to the city, it has been uh, showing a bit of heat in the map. So that's good. It's not a surge price, um, but there has been activity there. So there's been demand. Uh, so that's a better sign than it was a couple of months ago. So, you know, things might be getting a little bit busier and hopefully between now and the end of the year, we'll see that heat map pick up and see some surge pricing. And hopefully we see some quest promotions as well. Okay, I haven't uh, worked out whether I'm gonna put these questions in at the start of the video or at the end of the video. So you will either see these questions and then I'll go for a quick drive or I will have just got back from my drive and you will see these questions. Either way, uh, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your continued support. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Keep all those comments and questions coming. Uh, of course, if you are getting any benefit out of these videos, give it the old like, uh, hit the subscribe button for more content and uh, I'll see you on the next one.